looks really bad. I think I need to sit on a chair. So it's winter and I'm drinking iced coffee. Quite strange, but anyways, let's get back to the video. Okay, so it is the next day, um, as you probably can tell, because my clay is dry. If you're wondering, like, these are gonna be necklace holders, and there's one for me, and then I made one for my sister. Now, all I'm gonna do is sand it, and then we can probably start painting. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm at the window, it is winter, but I don't wanna get, the, like, the dust all on my desk, so I'm doing it out the window. I'm gonna drop it. I'm not gonna drop it. So I don't think this is the best idea. The wind is blowing this way. So I just did it and it got all over um, myself and in my eyes and everything. So <laughs> don't do that when it's windy. So I sanded them all. This one lived through it, but unfortunately this broke. So I need to find some stronger glue. All the rest of my creations survive. So let's get painting. First, we gotta steal the paint. So I took the paint and let's start painting. I stole from my sister. I am back and I finished all the charms. I put varnish on them so they're like shiny. This fell off again a third time so I had to fix it. So it's a little rough there. They all dried and they're all shellacked and everything like with a clear coat on them. So I'm gonna take this and see if it actually holds up any of my necklaces okay, so i put some necklaces on here it actually holds them up these are the ones i wear every day because i have way too many to put them all on here spot for it right up here and then i have my little <laughs> mushroom and frog jewelry dish beside it so i made it to match my earring holder so they kind of coordinate so it does hold my paintbrushes pretty well. I'll definitely use this, maybe even for pencil crayons, any other art supplies. So next is my earring holder. I'm gonna try with the only dangly earrings I own. And some earrings I made. I just got my ears pierced, so I'm not actually supposed to wear anything heavier and more dangly. I haven't worn these yet. I just made them for the fun of it. So let's try them on and see. It actually works, but as you can see, the longer ones, they either like, you have to kind of tuck them in but yeah, it does work, especially for these length ones work the best. So now for the charms, they all turned out adorable because I'm, I don't really like larger earrings. I like smaller ones. So these ones will probably be for bracelets or um, necklaces. So I have, and these smaller ones, their smaller versions are going to be for earrings. I was going to put them on these style hook, fish hooks, but they are not good quality metal so i have these hoops that are gold plated that i wear like every day basically and i thought it might look cute if i put that on there because this part goes into my ear so that might look cute i'm gonna try it on and see and then if i can use that then i can just interchange these anytime i want like i can put a happy face or even a frog i don't know about the frog they kind of look like jelly beans so that is the end of this video on um, these earrings are so cute honestly i love them i don't know if i'm supposed to be wearing this much like weight on my ears they're not that heavy but i love how when like i move my head they they're so cute and they go with the rest of my jewelry and my outfit but before I finish this video, I just wanted to say I had another video plan to post after I posted this where I made um, this necklace. I was recreating Pinterest jewelry, but unfortunately, I lost the footage. I'm about to say deleted it, but I will put the pictures of the jewelry I made in the end of this video because you might as well just see it. it it's really cute. I made a lot of cute stuff in that video. Yes, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any video requests, make sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up.